experience negative emotions like depression, anger, and others? Do we really need this in our lives? Depression and anger is what causes conflict between people, isn't it? But let's talk about fear for an example. Fear can teach us that something is dangerous. Then what is depression for? To teach us that we're sad. I thought of this question because I found this emotion useless. As I just said a while ago, those emotions cause conflict between people. People fight, misunderstand, and march it out, even suicide because of those negative emotions. Yes, fear can serve as a warning to a dangerous situation, or simply to save your life. But I wonder if those emotions like depression and anger can actually save your life. Somehow, I found the answer to this question from another problem. Words like don't fake your tears or fake smile are phrases telling that the expression of a certain emotion is not true. And I thought, what if those emotions were actually true? What if that person was really sad? Or maybe the smile wasn't true, but it had an intention to make others happy. If it was true, isn't it really disrespectful? I know I have a lot of questions in my mind. I kept thinking and thinking, which led me to a final question. Why do humans express their emotion? Emotion is something that you can't see physically, but you can see by observing. You can't see physically because obviously it's not in front of you, but you can see it by people's facial expressions or actions. And I found this similar to words. Words talk about thoughts, ideas, events, or whatever that we actually can't see. But we can see them by listening or reading. Or let's say we can imagine what words are trying to say. Isn't this similar to emotion? So I believe that emotion is another way to communicate. Sometimes emotions are really hard to understand because it is really complicated. Not just for others, but sometimes we can't even understand fully understand our own emotion. Back to the first question. Why do we have our need negative emotions like depression, anger, and others? If emotion is a way of communication, it clearly answers this question. Because you need to express what you're feeling. For example, when you see an emotion in someone, it means that that person is trying to tell what he or she is feeling. And I believe that emotions are even more true than words. Because it is harder to hide than words, there are more kinds than words, and it is what comes out first than words. Another reason why emotion is important is because it can affect our health condition. For example, heart disease has been linked to depression, and the reports of many heart attack survivors feeling blue and having significant depression prove this. Other medical conditions associated with depression and other Mood disorders are hormone imbalances, lack of nutrition, cancer, and some immune system disease. And to add more reason why emotions are important, I would like to say that every experience contains emotion. For example, you had fun with friends, then probably happy emotions would be left in your memory. Or let's say you fell down and got hurt, then the emotion in that memory won't be good. And all those pieces of literature and many of the artworks and music contain emotions too. For example, when we read a poem, we can analyze a certain atmosphere or mood surrounding the whole poem. So I believe that without emotions, all those amazing, beautiful, wonderful stories, artworks, and music would not exist. There are so many emotions. And every individual has different and many emotions. There are so many and so different that we can't even name all of them or fully understand them. Sometimes we just say, I'm sad, but it's not exactly sad, rather something similar. But I believe that it should be respected because we can't even name them. It means that we cannot name them because they are all different and it should be respected because it is different. Difference is actually the only thing that defines you. I mean like, if we say, a human being, that doesn't fully define you because that is not a difference you have. Something that only you have is emotion, your own emotion. Emotion is a way of communication, your health or condition, 
your experience, your inspiration, what makes you special, and it is what defines you. Even if these emotions seem useless, we should take a closer look because each of it might be really, really important. Thank you. Thank you for a very emotional speech.